Phone Burner is all about helping you get more done in less time. And one of the most important features in the system to help you accomplish that are the dispositions, the buttons you're gonna use as you're making calls to help you organize your contacts and follow up with your contacts. A lot of automation is built into those dispositions. So it's important for you to customize these dispositions so that you're getting exactly what you want out of Phone Burner. From your account, click on your initials in the upper right hand portion of the page and go down to Dial Session under Settings. From the Dial Session Settings, click on Dispositions. Here you're going to see two sections, Dialing Sets and Live Answer Sets. The dialing sets are the dispositions or buttons that you're gonna see on the screen at the start of every call. These are buttons like voicemail, no answer, busy signal. The live answer sets, these are buttons that you'll only see after you complete a live call. So you're gonna to wanna to take some time to customize both your dialing and live answer sets. And note that you can create as many dialing and live answer sets as you want or need to get the most out of phone burner. We're going to start with our dialing set. So I'm going to go ahead and edit the starter dialing set. From there, we're going to see a list of all of our dispositions that currently make up the starter dialing set. Live voicemail, no answer, busy signal, bad number. Now, if you're going to be taking advantage of the option of dropping a pre-recorded voicemail, you're going to want to add a new button. So I'm going to click on add new button. I'm going to name this button recorded voicemail. Once I've given the button a label, when I click away, the call status and note will automatically be filled with whatever I put in the button label, which in our case is perfectly fine. Now we're going to go down to the voicemail option. Here you'll see it's currently set to none. I'm going to change that and set that to dial session default. What that's going to do is it's going to allow me to choose what voicemail this button leaves every time I start a new dial session. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of other settings that you could potentially take advantage of in the dispositions, but for the voicemail button, right now I'm gonna leave that as is and I'm gonna save changes. And now I'm gonna go ahead and move that disposition up that I can refresh. Now, as I mentioned, there are a lot of settings that you can configure in the dispositions and I'm not gonna bore you with all of those, but I am gonna edit the bad number button in here, you're gonna see a list of all of the particular settings that you can configure for this one button. Keep in mind, these are all the settings for just this one button. Lots of options in here. And again, I'm not gonna cover every option on this specific training. But what I do wanna point out is you can configure these dispositions to automatically move a contact from one folder to another when you click this disposition. So let's say, for example, I'm calling contacts that have only one phone number. And if I call somebody and they have a bad phone number, I don't want them to remain in my calling campaign. So I want to move them into another folder. So here you'll see the move to folder option. Now, if you watch our other video where we talked about creating folders, you'll see the folders that we created are listed here as an option that we could select. But we didn't create a bad number folder when we were customizing our folders. Not a problem, we can create a folder when we're editing a disposition. I'm gonna click on create a new folder. And from here, I'm gonna give that folder a name. I'm gonna put this folder underneath our campaign calls folder, and I'm gonna click okay. Some of the other settings that you may wanna consider is the option to trigger an email based off of the disposition that's clicked. Uh, adding and removing tags to contacts, deleting the contact, triggering a webhook, scheduling a follow-up date, and many other options. But in this particular case, I'm done editing this button, so I'm gonna save changes. Once that saves, we can go back down here and you can see that our bad number button is in fact configured to move those contacts into the bad number folder. Now, of course, you're welcome to configure any of your dispositions to move contacts into different folders. Now, for me, in most cases, like a voicemail, no answer, busy signal where I don't connect with them, I typically would not move those contacts to another folder because I don't want those contacts taken out of my calling process, whatever that process may be. So we're done with the starter dialing set. Now let's jump back to dispositions. Let's go down to our live answer set. 
In here, you're going to see buttons like set appointment, not interested, follow up, unavailable, wrong number, and do not call. Now remember, we configured folders already, but the dispositions are not currently taking advantage of that. So let's edit the set appointment button. I'm going to go down to the move to folder option and I'm going to choose appointments. And again, there are other options that we could take advantage of, but not in this specific training. So I'm going to go ahead and save changes. Now let's go to our not interested button. Remember, we configured a not interested folder, so we want our not interested button to move contacts into the not interested folder. So we'll save changes there. Then we're going to go to our follow up button. Our follow up button, we want those contacts moved into our follow ups folder. But one other thing that we're going to want to configure or make sure is configured for a follow up disposition is the follow up option to set a date. We want to force ourselves to set a follow up date before we click this disposition. And the set date option here in the follow up section forces us to set a date before we can click this disposition. You can also configure some dispositions to clear an existing date if there is one. But let's go ahead and save changes for this button. Now we're going to go down to unavailable. I'm not going to move that contact into any other folder. If they're unavailable, I want them to remain in my calling process. Wrong number. This is probably similar to like a bad phone number situation. I called the phone number. Somebody answered. I talked to that somebody and it's the wrong somebody. So I'm going to edit this disposition. And I could potentially treat this disposition different than my bad phone number one because it's a valid phone number. It's just not the right phone number for the contact that I have. So I could potentially move them into my bad number folder or I could create a separate wrong number folder. In my particular case, I don't care, so I'm going to move them all to bad number. And I'm going to save changes. Now the last option here is my do not call option. I'm going to click on do not call. I'm going to scroll down here. And again, I can move these contacts into my bad number folder. But in this particular case, I actually want to track my do not calls differently than my bad numbers. So I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to name this folder DNC and I'm not going to worry about making it a subfolder under any other folders. I'm just going to click OK. Now one other thing I do want to point out when it comes to a DNC disposition or a bad number disposition is you may want to configure that disposition to DNC a specific phone number that you called or the entire contact. So if contacts have multiple phone numbers, all of their phone numbers will be added to your personal DNC list in phone burner. In my particular case, I'm going to leave it set to DNC phone number and I'm going to save changes. And that's it. I've now customized the dispositions in my account to take advantage of the folders to help me stay organized while I'm making calls. Now, of course, I could add additional buttons here if I wanted or needed to. But that's going to be up to you what you need in your account. So now it's up to you to go to your dispositions and start customizing your account for you so that you can start having massive success and be super efficient with your time using Phone Burner. Thanks for taking a moment to watch this video. Once you're done, come back, mark this training as completed so you can move on.